Hello everyone, as you can see in the background, this is ASUS ROG Streak B450F, a gaming motherboard with Ryzen 9 3900X processor. So today we're going to check when we check it, if this is compatible for Windows 11 by default, what does it say, and if it shows error, then how we can troubleshoot it. Because this motherboard is quite new, uh, I know it does have TPM, and... Of course, it should be um, uh, actual uh, upgradable for Windows 11. So let's get into the point and check. So there are two ways to check this out. But one thing, let me tell you something. Uh, especially for Windows 11 compatibility, depend on the motherboard. Yes, of course, there is uh, the processor also. It takes it its part. But if the motherboard doesn't have the module, then everything is pointless. So let's check it out. We're going to use two different way. One of them will run the run uh, first. We'll put the command and check, and then we'll check with the PC health check, uh, PC health checkup uh, tool. By using the tool, also we'll check what it does says by default. All right. So we are on the screen on the desktop, as you can see. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to check by default about the TPM configuration and if the system configuration says if this is uh, enabled for Windows 11 or not. So there are two ways. First of all, what we can do, we're going to check with uh, the actual uh, Windows PC Health Checkup tool, which one uh, Microsoft released it. It's such a small piece of software runs within second, and it's going to tell you uh, what's the status of your PC about Windows 11 or not. So I'm going to double click here. Or you can do right click and you can install it and now as you can see this is running within second it's going to be finished sometimes it takes a little bit of time so now the main screen popped up and from the left hand side you can see details of your PC as you can see it is 32 GB RAM 480 SSD that is my PC so from here if I click on check now it's going to tell straight away if this is enabled for Windows 11 or not so let's do that Click check now and as you can see the error message which one says the PC can't run Windows 11 okay because it doesn't meet the requirement which is absolutely fine now the second option that we have which is from this search box so on the left hand side next to the start button click on search and type rum1 and you can hit enter so once you hit enter, you have to type tpm.msc. The upper or lower case does not matter. You can type anything and then press OK. Once you do OK, then this is going to pop up another page. Trusted platform module TPM management on local computer. So it says compatible TPM cannot be found. Now, let me tell you something. By do default, 99.99% uh, desktop motherboard all laptop uh, by default it comes uh, TPM what you disable in the BIOS the reason is Windows never required TPM module uh, to be enabled to due to reinstall any Windows before Windows 11 okay so Windows 7 Windows 8 8.1 and Windows 10 never required that anyway right now they required it now we're going to check exactly if i do have the tpm module in my motherboard or not there are two ways you can find it by searching the actual motherboard menu which is kind of uh, it's too much okay now i'm going to restart the pc get into bios and check actual settings okay so first of all i'm going to restart it so now let's restart the pc to get into bios Asus ROG Street B450 BIOS key is F2. So make sure once it's taking restart, you just need to keep pressing F2. I'm going to keep pressing F2.
All right. So that's the actual BIOS screen. Now, remember, this model of motherboard, I mean, not only this motherboard, almost any B450 motherboard from uh, Asus, they kept two different types of screen. One of them is called EZ, Easy Mode. Once it on Easy Mode, it's going to say here, okay. So as you can see, this is Advanced Mode, all about Advanced Option, okay. Again, if you press F7, it's going to become like that and it is going to tell you EZ Mode. So now if you see this screen, by default, don't worry, nothing to worry. Just go back in here, which is Advanced Mode. And then we're going to find the TPM module setup option. Now, most of the uh, motherboard, uh, not for this, rest of the motherboard from different, different company, most of the time what they do, they put it in security option, the TPM module option inside the security. But for this motherboard, it's not inside the security, it's in advanced. So click on advanced, and then from here, the top option, which is MD FTPM configuration. We just need to click in right here and then you're going to see your one is disabled by default which is the top option don't touch anything else go here make it enable and you're going to see a warning message so now they are telling what the tpm would do once you enable it and what changes would happen remember if you are agreed then only press ok if you are not then you don't have this option for you so i'm absolutely agreed otherwise i would not be able to run windows 11 into this machine so i'm going to press ok once i done then i just need to click on exit and from here we need to save the changes and reset so click on save changes once you click they're gonna give you warning again what you've done so now the firmware tpm is getting from disabled to enable that's the option going to be activated so please okay once you press okay the system would restart and it will take you to your current windows version so if you do have windows 10 then 10 if you do have 8.1 then 8.1 so this is restarting so now we're going to check the same thing Okay, this time we're going to go to run hit enter once we hit enter the same command press ok and now as you can see it says the status the tpm is ready to use so that means you don't have any more obstacles to run windows 11 into your machine so let me know how you did it but remember one thing only if you turn on the tpm wouldn't help you must need to enable uefi boot okay so pretty much that's all. Still, if you do have any question, make sure you leave it in the comment section. And if you think the video was helpful, then please leave a subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.